person who comes in and out of the house like you don't belong here <laughs> um all right on deck is gonna be nora lang but coming to the stage right now really excited to have them here give it up for caitlin b <laughs> If you don't, then you're being tortured, which is also really funny. Um, so, I can be really needy. I like, I like attention, and if I receive attention, sometimes I still, you know, want more attention. And, but if a guy shows interest in me, then I'm like, get the fuck away from me, what are you doing? And I realized I'm a cat. <laughs> And what's funny about that is I have friends who are like, oh, well, you're single. Maybe she had a cat. I'm like, okay, well, let's think about this now that you suggested it. What do people like in relationships? Bullet points are cuddling, sex, some, some kind of communication, food. You either go out to eat or you cook food together. I think those are like kind of the basis. All right, well, with a cat... Uh, you can't, I mean, I don't want to eat with a cat. I'm going to take a cat out to dinner. I'm not going to have a cat cook. Um, I'm not going to have sex with a cat. Uh, have you ever tried to communicate with a cat? Uh, I mean, it just depends on the cat, I guess. And then cuddling, I mean, I just feel like I just fight with cats because, you know, I'm in my bed and then my roommate's cat is like walking around my head and I'm like, this is not what I want. Anyway, so that's what I want to tell people next time they recommend that. <laughs> so, I mentioned I was single, but I did go on a date the other night, and it went pretty well. I mean, he, I could tell he cared about me, he, he paid attention, we went on a little walk, he asked me a ton of questions, he drove me home to my house, and then, and then he left. It was, it was perfect. He did give me a DUI, but I mean, <laughs> overall, like, it was, it was attentive. He cared. And I got home safe, and... Yeah, I was able to go date. So, the next night, let's call it last Wednesday, I uh, did a, a, my comedy at uh, the Elks Lodge in Red River, and I was Woo! like, okay, all right, everything's fresh, let's just go, let's just do it. And then I, you know, let I'm just... Sorry, my pronoun is not multiple, but if it was, that would make more sense. So I'm talking to myself in a non-binary way, and then I say, let's look for a lawyer, and as I'm telling jokes at the Elks Lodge, I realize I'm not gonna find a lawyer, because they all pass the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even my boss loves that one. <laughs> So since I'll probably go to jail, I'm thinking about all the good things. And if I'm gonna sell a group cell with a bunch of other people, I'll have a captivated audience. And they'll be captivated in, in some form. And I'm thinking about, like I always just like to tell jokes, get reactions, and then do better, right? But if I'm in a, in a jail and I'm telling my jokes, can I really trust their reactions? I mean, are they gonna give me an honest response? I don't know. I mean, because we're in jail. What are they there for? Are they there for lying? You know, that's the number one uh, reason people are in jail, lying. So I thought I'd have a, you know when you go up and you do open mic and you're like, oh, I don't wanna go too long. and. Oh, well, it's my first time ever doing open mic, not in Hood River, so I'll keep it concise. Well, guess what? I did that. Good job, me. Um, if uh, you want to help me pay for my lawyer's retainer fee, sorry, Liam, uh, I do have this uh, Venmo code in so many different sizes, so um, I'm about $1,000 away from that $3,000. My court date's Monday, so... Um, Everything I say is also not a joke, so that's me. All right, uh, hopefully. <laughs>